Well, hey. Right. I don't care how much my storage hates me. I've done a bit of shop in the past few days, so I want to show some things off, and I'm just going to shove that video up on the channel first. Uh, Fagger stuff down here. I also have this, which I need to test. So I'll show you this first. Uh, as you know, or may not know, don't think you will know. <laughs> Who knows? I picked up Resident Evil Apocalypse. People on my Instagram will know, I think. I think. Uh, yeah. I picked up Resident Evil Apocalypse on 4K. My favourite of the Resident Evil films. I've been doing a watch through, as you can see. I've been doing a watch through with uh, Video Tasties. We did the first one and we're going to do the second one soon. I wanted to get that prepared. This is all leading somewhere. <laughs> so I was looking on CEX for the other ones and lo and behold in a different area to me they had for three pounds three pounds resident evil afterlife which is the fourth movie so i was like oh, for three pounds that's a bargain so i ordered it pay 195 postage so technically i paid 495 but it arrived and to my astonishment, it arrived with a slip cover. My absolute shock. Now, I did also quickly check. I pushed this up to check the corner here. <laughs> and, yep. Yeah. It's not a reprinted cover, thankfully. And the people who brought it in obviously kept the digital code because it wasn't in here. But they don't promise you digital codes. Now, I need to test this. But for £3, wow. It needs testing, but for £3, I really am quite happy. I'll put that there. I'll put that there. Now, a few charity shops today and CEX. Now, went in CEX first, and they had a few. Uh, now, I haven't seen them releasing. At least I'm not sure if they have been releasing the original Bonds on 4K. Now I know I've got all the I've got all the Daniel Craig ones, so I thought, well, I'm going to continue to collect the ones I don't have on Blu-ray, which also come with the digital codes. So, I found in CEX. Still with the prices on, by the way. Goldfinger for £3.50. From Russia with Love for £3. Diamonds are forever for a fiver. Checked. They all have the digital codes in. Not tested the digital codes yet. But if they're gone, they're gone. Now, in British Heart Foundation, which is the other place I went to today, charity shop, they had this. And I thought, ooh, that looks pretty funny. I'm pretty sure I'll have a laugh with this. So, if you've seen this, let me know down below. This is Soul Plane, Mile High Edition. Now, the little thing here says X-rated and out of control, and the sticker just says feature. This sticker just says feature film one pound. But yeah, Snoop Dogg, Kevin Hart can't go wrong. For a quid. Um, apparently this is like some sort of sequel to Pumping Iron. Generation Iron. Narrated by Mickey Rourke. And apparently it has some... Uh, featuring never seen, never seen before footage from the legendary Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, well, 
if it does have it, this will be going in my Arnie collection. And the lady comes out. I hear her in the back going, oh, I need some Halloween stuff for the window. So I was like, oh, um, I've seen a couple of horrors here. I'll just let the lady know. She comes out. Uh, I got There's like two things here you could put out. Oh, it's okay. I've got some things now. I managed to find World War Z. Uh, of course, there's me going, oh, okay, World War Z. Then there's, she has like this mini rant about it being American, saying Z, not Z. Anyway, before she takes the stuff out to the window, I say to her, I say, do you mind me seeing what else you got there? She pulls off Suicide Squad, the 2020 or 2021, I can't remember which year it came out. The James Gunn Suicide Squad, which I already have the 4K for. And then this other thing, which I've got here. Now, I'm not buying it brand new. I'm not paying Blu-ray the what's it they're asking for on Blu-ray at the minute. And I can never find the 4K for anything. I'm respectfully able going to pay for it. So for £1 on DVD, I thought just to add it to the collection, I've never seen it. I haven't had the urge to watch it. And I will now watch it since I own the DVD. I'm obviously talking about... Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of Harley Quinn. I think, is that the full? Oh, sorry, of one Harley Quinn. It's a Harley Quinn movie. It ain't a Birds of Prey movie. No. <laughs> but yeah, one pound. And because I didn't check while I was in there. Yep. The disc looks pretty mint, actually, so they probably not watched it. Uh, anyway, there we go for one pound. Now, yesterday, I popped into a couple of shops. So, we have a few things here. Let's do CDs first. We've got a few more after this. We have from MT Games. You have to excuse the rustling. Michael Jackson off the wall. Fantastic. That was two quid. Then, still collecting my soundtracks. They have the soundtrack to the Black Sailors TV show. I love pirate music, so that's going to be awesome. Now, we have two CDs here from... PDSA, another charity, an animal charity. Now, this is a group I've never heard of. They're an American punk band, apparently, called Amen. And it's the name of the album, Amen. So there's that. I just saw the parental advisory logo and dove straight for it. And Stained Break the Cycle. Here we go. So there's that as well. They are 50p each. Now let's look at the other DVDs I've got here. Now, if I put that there for a minute, I've seen. I just dropped something. I have no idea. You'll have to forgive the rustling. I apologise. I've seen this film recommended a lot. Not actually watched it yet, so this is going to be a first for me. Uh, 50p, and the film is called. Arrival. That's been recommended to me a lot, so I'm hoping it's good. Things falling all over the place here. Alright. It's the TV remote. It decided it wanted a fall. And uh, envelope. Right. So, yes, as I was saying. Now... I can't... Where did I pick these up from? Oh yeah, this is from... the. These two DVDs were from the £1 D, uh, charity shop that... Wes, you've heard me speak about it a couple of times by now. The Western Hospice Care that they... we Locally we call it the £1 shop because everything in there is sold for a pound. Now, DVDs are buy one get one free but so are books and CDs and you can mix and match. I found this 
lovely slip cover for Miss Saigon and this is a 25th anniversary performance recorded live in London's West End it's also are you going to see that? Sealed! The only sticker on the back is it looks like it was probably ordered online from online somewhere because it's got a funny sticker right here. But yeah, for one pound, I grabbed this first. And then I thought, oh, I'll have to have a look around. Then I saw this and I remembered uh, watching an interview with Mark Dacascos. And I'm pretty sure he mentioned this film. Now, I'm a big Mark Tacascos fan, never seen this film, but um, yeah, I'm pretty eager to watch it and see what it's like. So if you've seen this, let me know. This was the other film I picked up as part of the two for a pound. Only the Brave. So let me know in the comments if that's any good. Now, I'm not sure if it's in a video or not yet. As you know, got a lot to go up yet. <laughs> Uh, but in another Western hospice care, there's like three or four in, our, in my town. I found a Target Books Doctor Who collection, as in one hardback. I th they just call it's just called the Target Storybook. Now it's essentially like the smaller ones, but it has multiple stories rather than just it be a named one story as i was saying i have um, met previously mentioned in a video either recorded and on the channel or recorded waiting to go up that i managed to find for a steal 10 pounds 10 mint condition target uh doctor who uh novels obviously all their individual stories but yeah this is what i found for one pound now if Ignore the big mess on the front there. There we go. That's better. Much better. I've probably pissed off a lot of people doing this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Much better. For one pound, I'm going to ignore the first story because it's something to do with what I've hidden. <laughs> but yeah. There we go. As you can see, it wraps around too. So you got there and there, which is pretty cool. And the hardback authorized edition as seen on BBC TV. 15 thrilling new adventures featuring writers and stars from the hit BBC series. I go into presenter voice sometimes, I apologize. But yeah, this, uh, would have cost sixteen ninety nine brand new in the UK, twenty three ninety nine brand new in the US, and thirty five ninety nine brand new in Canada. So yeah, I am looking forward to going through this, <laughs> covering up the fake doctor. But yeah. Mint condition for a pound. Even if it has the fake doctor in it. It's fantastic. And I don't care if I upset people, by the way. You can like Jodie as the doctor. She can be your favourite doctor. But on my channel... Nope. <laughs> I do not support that doctor. Her entire run is absolute... But more power to you if you like her now with that said i'm going to show you what that bloody this was about what this was about i got i'm waiting on a pa package to come one of them arrived this morning it was the uh, resident evil afterlife and i thought this was my ebay order months ago i ordered two things off of a seller now one of them was damaged so he, as, to be fair, one of them wasn't even an official 
uh, case release. It was the official sleeve with about twice the amount of discs in it. It was the four film set Free Willy. And so, in other words, because I told basically told him that it was subpar what he told me, it wasn't very good. It wasn't a decent release. Uh, he, uh, I did order something else with that. And he just, because he couldn't replace them, went out of his way, bought them from Music Magpie to send to me. Now, the other DVD that I bought with the Free Willy set that they ordered as well as the Free Willy set for me to, as a replacement, for some reason, another copy showed up. So I've gone and asked that seller now. I was like, did you... Did you send me another copy? Like, did you order me another copy? I haven't heard from them yet. If they turn around and said to me, say to me, there was a, a, a you know, clerical mix up, it, it's possible it happened, then I'll basically turn around and say to them, well, if it's okay with them, I'll take it to my local RSPCA and just donate it to them. So that they would have donated about a pound fifty, two pounds, whatever this would have cost them to charity. Because I don't need this anymore. <laughs> I've got a copy way back there with my Tom Hardy stuff. Because yeah, Tom Hardy. The big old face here. That's why I bought this. Um, anyway, well, that's why I bought this originally. Not this one. I didn't know why this arrived. Anyway, yes, I'm ranting now. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to upload this to the channel. This is going to get uploaded raw. <laughs> no intro. No outro. Yeah! Content! <laughs> so yeah, uh, I need to test some of that stuff, but yeah. I'm doing lots of but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, you guys, take it easy. Thanks to all my new subscribers, and I'm going to be saying that a lot, I think, because I do have a... I've been getting a slow, steady stream of subscribers. So, yeah. Also, Sparks, mate. Neil. Neil? I think it's Neil. I can't remember. No! <laughs> Sparks. I promise you I've worked out what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do, as you've said, you can schedule the upload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit and upload a lot of stuff. But I'm going to make it so it releases in bits rather than all at once yeah this is now seven set almost 18 minutes so you guys take it easy i'm gonna get all this off and i will catch you another time cut to black well not quite